Brussels, Dutch. Brussels BRCL, officially the Brussels Capital Region, is a region of Belgium comprising 19 municipalities, including the city of Brussels which is the capital of Belgium, the French community of Belgium, and the Flemish community. The region has a population of 1.2 million and a metropolitan area with a population of over 1.8 million, the largest in Belgium, since the end of the Second World War. Brussels has been a major centre for international politics and has become the polyglot home of numerous international organisations, politicians, diplomats and civil servants. Brussels is the de facto capital of the European Union as it hosts a number of principal EU institutions. The Secretariat of the Benelux and the headquarters of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization are also located in Brussels. Brussels is just a few kilometres north of the boundary between Belgium's language communities, French in the south, Dutch in the north. Historically a Dutch-speaking city, it has seen a major shift to French since Belgian independence in 1830. Today, although the majority language is French, the city is officially bilingual. All road signs, street names, and many advertisements and services are shown in both languages. Brussels is increasingly becoming multilingual with increasing numbers of migrants, expatriates and minority groups speaking their own languages. History. The most common theory of the origin of Brussels' name is that it derives from the old Dutch Broeksel or Broeksel, meaning Martian home or home in the marsh. The origin of the settlement that was to become Brussels lies in St. Gagericus, a construction of a chapel on an island in the River Senna around 580. St. Vindicianus, the Bishop of Cambrai made the first recorded reference to the place Brosella in 695 when it was still a hamlet. The official founding of Brussels is usually situated around 979, when Duke Charles of Lower Lotharingia transferred the relics of St. Gudula from Morsel to the St. Gagericus Chapel. Charles would construct the first permanent fortification in the city, doing so on that same island. Lambert I of Leuven, Count of Leuven gained the county of Brussels around 1000 by marrying Charles's daughter. Because of its location on the shores of the Senna on an important trade route between Bruges and Ghent and Cologne, Brussels grew quite quickly, it became a commercial centre that rapidly extended towards the upper town, where there was a smaller risk of floods. As it grew to a population of around 30,000, the surrounding marshes were drained to allow for further expansion. The Counts of Leuven became Dukes of Brabant at about this time. In the 13th century, the city got its first walls. After the construction of the city walls in the early 13th century, Brussels grew significantly. To let the city expand, a second set of walls was erected between 1356 and 1383. Today, traces of it can still be seen, mostly because the small ring, a series of roadways in downtown Brussels bounding the historic city centre, follows its former course. In the 15th century, by means of the wedding of heiress Margaret III of Flanders with Philip the Bold, Duke of Burgundy, a new Duke of Brabant emerged from the House of Valois, with another line of descent from the Habsburgs. Brabant had lost its independence, but Brussels became the princely capital of the prosperous Low Countries, and flourished. In 1516 Charles V, who had been heir of the Low Countries since 1506, was declared King of Spain in St. Michael and St. Gudula Cathedral in Brussels. Upon the death of his grandfather, Maximilian I, Holy Roman Emperor in 1519, Charles became the new ruler of the Habsburg Empire and was subsequently elected the Holy Roman Emperor. It was in the palace complex at Kudenberg that Charles V abdicated in 1555. This impressive palace, famous all over Europe, had greatly expanded since it had first become the seat of the Dukes of Brabant but it was destroyed by fire in 1731. In 1695, King Louis XIV of France sent troops to bombard Brussels with artillery. Together with the resulting fire, it was the most destructive event in the entire history of Brussels. 
The Grand Place was destroyed, along with 4,000 buildings, a third of those in the city. The reconstruction of the city center, affected during subsequent years, profoundly changed the appearance of the city and left numerous traces still visible today. The city was captured by France in 1746 during the War of the Austrian Succession but was handed back to Austria three years later. Brussels remained with Austria until 1795, when the southern Netherlands was captured and annexed by France. Brussels became the capital of the Department of the Dial. It remained a part of France until 1815, when it joined the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. The former Dial Department became the province of South Brabant, with Brussels as its capital. In 1830, the Belgian Revolution took place in Brussels after a performance of Ober's opera La Mouette de Portici at the La Monnaie Theatre. Brussels became the capital and seat of government of the new nation. South Brabant was renamed simply Brabant, with Brussels as its capital. On 21 July 1831, Leopold I, the first king of the Belgians, ascended the throne, undertaking the destruction of the city walls and the construction of many buildings. Following independence, the city underwent many more changes. The Senna had become a serious health hazard, and from 1867 to 1871 its entire course through the urban area was completely covered over. This allowed urban renewal and the construction of modern buildings and boulevards characteristic of downtown Brussels today. Throughout this time, Brussels remained mostly a Dutch-speaking city, though until 1921 French was the sole language of administration. During the 20th century the city has hosted various fairs and conferences, including the Solvay Conference on Physics and on Chemistry, and two world fairs, the Brussels International Exposition of 1935 and the Expo 58. During World War I, Brussels was an occupied city, but German troops did not cause much damage. In World War II the city was again occupied, and was spared major damage during its occupation by German forces before it was liberated by the British Guards Armoured Division. The Brussels airport dates to the occupation. After the war, Brussels was modernised for better and for worse. The construction of the north-south connection linking the main railway stations in the city was completed in 1952, while the first Brussels pre-metro was finished in 1969, and the first line of the Brussels metro was opened in 1976. Starting from the early 1960s, Brussels became the de facto capital of what would become the European Union, and many modern buildings were built. Unfortunately, development was allowed to proceed with little regard to the aesthetics of newer buildings, and many architectural gems were demolished to make way for newer buildings that often clashed with their surroundings, a process known as Brusselization. The Brussels capital region was formed on 18 June 1989 after a constitutional reform in 1988. It has bilingual status and it is one of the three federal regions of Belgium, along with Flanders and Wallonia. Brussels was in the global spotlight in November 2015, when a series of raids from police searching for Paris bombing suspect Salah Abdislam forced the city into virtual lockdown. Brussels as a capital. Despite what its name suggests, the Brussels capital region is not the capital of Belgium in itself. Article 194 of the Belgian Constitution establishes that the capital of Belgium is the city of Brussels, the municipality within the capital region that once was the city's core. The city of Brussels is the location of many national institutions. The Royal Palace, where the King of Belgium exercises his prerogatives as head of state, is situated alongside the Brussels Park. The Palace of the Nation is located on the opposite side of this park, and is the seat of the Belgian Federal Parliament. The office of the Prime Minister of Belgium, colloquially called Law Street 16, is located adjacent to this building. This is also the place where the Council of Ministers holds its meetings. The Court of Cassation, Belgium's main court, has its seat in the Palace of Justice. 
Other important institutions in the City of Brussels are the Constitutional Court, the Council of State, the Court of Audit, the Royal Belgian Mint and the National Bank of Belgium. The City of Brussels is also the capital of both the French Community of Belgium and the Flemish Community. The Flemish Parliament and Flemish Government have their seats in Brussels, as do the Parliament of the French Community and the Government of the French Community. Municipalities the 19 municipalities of the Brussels capital region are political subdivisions with individual responsibilities for the handling of local level duties, such as law enforcement and the upkeep of schools and roads within its borders. Municipal administration is also conducted by a mayor, a council, and an executive. In 1831, Belgium was divided into 2,739 municipalities, including the 19 in the Brussels capital region. Unlike most of the municipalities in Belgium, the ones located in the Brussels capital region were not merged with others during mergers occurring in 1964, 1970, and 1970. However, several municipalities outside of the Brussels capital region have been merged with the city of Brussels throughout its history including Laken, Harin, and Nedi over Heembeek, which were merged into the city of Brussels in 1921. The largest and most populous of the municipalities is the city of Brussels, covering 32.6 square kilometres with 145,917 inhabitants. The least populous is Kokelberg with 18,541 inhabitants, while the smallest in area is St. Jost and Nuda, which is only 1.1 square kilometres. Despite being the smallest municipality, St. Jost and Nuda has the highest population density of the 19 with 20,822 inhabitants per square kilometre. A lot of controversy exists concerning the division of 19 municipalities for a highly urbanised region which is considered as one city by most people. Some politicians mock the 19 baronies and want to merge the municipalities under one city council and one mayor. This would lower the number of politicians needed to govern Brussels and centralize the power over the city to make decisions easier, thus reduce the overall running costs. The current municipalities could be transformed into districts with limited responsibilities. Similar to the current structure of Antwerp or to structures of other capitals like the boroughs in London or arrondissements in Paris, to keep politics close enough to the citizen. Brussels Capital Region The Brussels Capital Region is one of the three federated regions of Belgium, alongside Wallonia and the Flemish region. Geographically and linguistically, it is a bilingual enclave in the unilingual Flemish region. Regions are one component of Belgium's institutions, the three communities being the other component. Brussels inhabitants deal with either the French community or the Flemish community for matters such as culture and education. Institutions The Brussels capital region is governed by a parliament of 89 members and an eight-member regional cabinet consisting of a minister-president, four ministers and three state secretaries. By law, the cabinet must comprise two French-speaking and two Dutch-speaking ministers one Dutch-speaking Secretary of State and two French-speaking Secretaries of State. The Minister-President does not count against the language quota, but in practice every Minister-President has been a bilingual Francophone. The Regional Parliament can enact ordinances, which have equal status as a National Legislative Act. 19 of the 72 French-speaking members of the Brussels Parliament are also members of the Parliament of the French Community of Belgium, and until 2004 this was also the case for six Dutch-speaking members, who were at the same time members of the Flemish Parliament. Now, people voting for a Flemish party have to vote separately for six directly elected members of the Flemish Parliament. The Brussels region is the only one that is not subdivided into provinces, nor is it a province itself. Within the region, 99% of the areas of provincial jurisdiction are assumed by the Brussels regional institutions. Remaining is only the governor of Brussels capital and some aides. 
Its status is roughly akin to that of a federal district, agglomeration of Brussels before the creation of the Brussels Capital Region. Regional competences in the 19 municipalities see it performed by the Brussels Agglomeration. The Brussels Agglomeration was an administrative division that was established in 1971. This decentralized administrative public body also assumed jurisdiction over areas that elsewhere in Belgium were exercised by municipalities or provinces. The Brussels agglomeration had a separate legislative council, but the bylaws enacted by it did not have the status of a legislative act. The only election of the council took place on 21 November 1971. The working of the council was subject to many difficulties caused by the linguistic and socio-economic tensions between the two communities. After the creation of the Brussels Capital Region, the Brussels agglomeration was never formally abolished, although it no longer has a purpose. French and Flemish Communities the French community and the Flemish community exercise their powers in Brussels, Trove two community-specific public authorities, the French Community Commission and the Flemish Community Commission. These two bodies each have an assembly composed of the members of each linguistic group of the Parliament of the Brussels Capital Region. They also have a board composed of the ministers and secretaries of state of each linguistic group in the government of the Brussels Capital Region. The French Community Commission has also another capacity. Some legislative powers of the French community have been devolved to the Walloon region and to the French Community Commission. The Flemish community, however, did the opposite. It emerged the Flemish region into the Flemish community. This is related to different conceptions in the two communities, one focusing more on the communities and the other more on the regions, causing an asymmetrical federalism. Because of this devolution, the French Community Commission can enact decrees, which are legislative acts. Common Community Commission A by Communitarian Public Authority The Common Community Commission also exists. Its assembly is composed of the members of the regional parliament, and its board are the ministers, not the secretaries of state, of the region, with the minister-president not having the right to vote. This commission has two capacities. It is a decentralized administrative public body, responsible for implementing cultural policies of common interest. It can give subsidies and enact by laws. In another capacity it can also enact ordinances, which have equal status as a national legislative act, in the field of the welfare powers of the communities. In the Brussels capital region, both the French community and the Flemish community can exercise powers in the field of welfare, but only in regard to institutions that are unilingual. The Common Community Commission is responsible for policies aiming directly at private persons or at bilingual institutions. Its ordinances have to be enacted with a majority in both linguistic groups. Failing such a majority, a new vote can be held, where a majority of at least one-third in each linguistic group is sufficient. International Institutions Brussels has, since World War II, become the administrative centre of many international organisations. The European Union and the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation have their main institutions in the city, along with many other international organisations such as the World Customs Organisation and EUROCONTROL as well as international corporations. Brussels is third in the number of international conferences it hosts also becoming one of the largest convention centers in the world. The presence of the EU and the other international bodies has, for example, led to there being more ambassadors and journalists in Brussels than in Washington, D.C. International schools have also been established to serve this presence. The international community in Brussels numbers at least 70,000 people. In 2009, there were an estimated 286 lobbying consultancies known to work in Brussels. European Union Brussels serves as capital of the European Union, hosting the major political institutions of the Union. The EU has not declared a capital formally. 
Though the Treaty of Amsterdam formally gives Brussels the seat of the European Commission and the Council of the European Union, it locates the formal seat of European Parliament in the French city of Strasbourg, where votes take place with the Council on the proposals made by the Commission. However, meetings of political groups and committee groups are formally given to Brussels along with a set number of plenary sessions. Three quarters of Parliament now takes place at its Brussels hemicycle. Between 2002 and 2004, the European Council also fixed its seat in the city. In 2014, the Union hosted a G7 summit in the city. Brussels, along with Luxembourg and Strasbourg, began to host institutions in 1957, soon becoming the centre of activities as the Commission and Council based their activities in what has become the European Quarter. Early building in Brussels was sporadic and uncontrolled with little planning. The current major buildings are the Berlaymont Building of the Commission, symbolic of the quarter as a whole, the Justice Lipsius Building of the Council and the Espes Leopold of Parliament. Today the presence has increased considerably with the Commission alone occupying 865,000 square metres within the European Quarter in the east of the city. The concentration and density has caused concern that the presence of the institutions has caused a ghetto effect in that part of the city. However the presence has contributed significantly to the importance of Brussels as an international centre. Ajaric is a construction of a chapel on an island in the River Senna around 580. Saint Vindicianus, the Bishop of Cambrai made the first recorded reference to the place Brosella in 695 when it was still a hamlet. The official founding of Brussels is usually situated around 979, when Duke Charles of Lower Lotharingia transferred the relics of Saint Gudula from Moore the end of the Second World War. Brussels has been a major centre for international politics and has become the polyglot home of numerous international organisations, politicians, diplomats and civil servants. Brussels is the de facto capital of the European Union as it hosts a number of principal EU institutions. The Secretariat of the Benelux and the headquarters of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization are Brussels, Dutch. Brussels, BRCL, officially the Brussels Capital Region, is a region of Belgium comprising 19 municipalities including the city of Brussels which is the capital of Belgium, the French community of Belgium, and the Flemish community. The region has a population of 1.2 million and a metropolitan area with a population of over 1.8 million, the largest in Belgium, since also located in Brussels. Brussels is just a few kilometres north of the boundary between Belgium's language communities, French in the south, Dutch in the north. Historically a Dutch-speaking city, it has seen a major shift to French since Belgian independence in 1830. Today, although the majority language is French, the city is officially bilingual. All road signs, street names, and many advertisements and services are shown in both languages. Brussels is increasingly becoming multilingual with increasing numbers of migrants, expatriates and minority groups speaking their own languages. History. The most common theory of the origin of Brussels name is that it derives from the old Dutch Broeksel or Broeksel, meaning Martian home or home in the marsh. The origin of the settlement that was to become Brussels lies in St. Gay.